Akere Dolu takes it to the next level, takes on new matters regarding security in Ondo State, where he is the governor. Akere Dolu administered and has told all the monarchs to set up community policing in their domain. Ondo State must be safe. If everybody is to take on this and everybody is to act accordingly, you'll be surprised how things will turn out. If everybody is to work on this and everybody is to, you know, really stand up to it and say enough is enough, you and I will be surprised. You know, the federal government do not want security set up in any way, form or kind. They honestly want people to be insecure because they have an agenda for the Fulanese to come and take over people's land. Hence, they are doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that they keep people, you know, uh, unarmed, unprotected, so that they can have their way and they can do whatever they want to do, you see. So this is part of the plan and part of the strategies that they have on, on ground and in place. But really, sincerely speaking, these things must surely come to an end. It will not be long. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Akere Doluto, monarchs in Ondo State, set up community policing in your domain. Ondo must be safe. Warning against the installation of less chiefs as traditional rulers has been the issue. But Governor Luro Timi Akere Dulu of Ondo State has asked traditional rulers to set up community policing in their various communities in order to reduce crime and to in reduce invasion or anyone trying to infiltrate into the domain and cause trouble. To ensure peace in various communities as we equip a Mutekun to do more. Also, the governor read the road out of traditional rules who are installing less monarchs and chief outside their domain in the state, saying such development may lead to breakdown of law and order, and the traditional aspect of the state must be maintained, be respected, and followed. Akere Dolu, who gave the warning at the installation of seven monarchs in his state, expressed worry over incense, petitions, and outcry rising from continuous tendencies of traditional rulers of installing people who are less and not from the domain. The installation of less chiefs and monarchs by traditional rulers, the government says, is capable of causing crisis and very in various community thereby aggravating the security issues in the state the governor spoke at the presentation of installation of appointment of chief of office and other monarchs including the oromi of era akoko oba samuel agbeola in akoko southeast local government area in the state as well as others loro timi akiri dulu also encouraged everyone to ensure that they put things in place for their states to be all right and for security to continue and we must continue to ensure that we put security in place for the people so uluru timi akere dulu is particularly you know particularly you know uh, ready that um, there is security he's doing everything humanly possible to ensure that security is paramount in his state and everyone is looked after and the state is you know is preserved this is what oloro timi akiri dulu is doing you know and it's going it's taking security one step at a time taking it one step at a time and it's going from you know i mean the arms of government security should be one of the most treasured you know from that we begin to build up the ranks but what has happened is that nigerian government has eradicated the very essence of what this stands for these are the people in the domain who knows people who knows those in their area so when there are strangers they are able to quickly report it this will reduce security threats you know rather than bringing some strangers for instance from zamfara to let's say for instance uh akoko edo so that person does not even know the people in that domain does not understand so when anything happens it does not even know what is happening it does not know who is who so the wrong people are, are you know are being implicated and things are just done anyhow but if 
truly sincerely speaking okay they allow the people to have what we call community policing just like we have in america it's you know nigeria is a is a whole ball game altogether they want to continue to do what they are doing and some people want to continue to you know to 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 end from where they have not sold okay to continue to put the country you know in where they want it to be because apparently uh, whether you like it or not they are gaining from the chaos in the society the more the chaos is destabilized the more the country is in chaos the better for them that is market day that's where they thrive that's where they are doing what they are doing that's when they are getting away with it and sadly nobody's really really paying attention to all these things going on and the nation was just watching on as these things you know unfold gradually so what do we do first of all wake up call every one of us must rise up to the occasion say the truth as it is without fear or favor everyone must be able to speak and speak against injustice speak against evil going on everyone must be able to categorically say it as it is when we speak truth when we say it as it is we are on our way to better days you know and when we walk in unity when you look at it you know is one of the very few governors okay one of the most few governors who is speaking in terms of security for his people he honestly sincerely wants things to be better for his people and he's doing everything humanly possible if he was an apc governor I beg your pardon, Buhari would have told everybody it's because it's against him, just the way, you know, uh, uh, Governor Otom has been branded. But not because he does not. Otom is speaking because he wants his people to be safe. And so wanting his people to be safe is part of what has brought, you know, things to where it is today. All because he wants his people to be safe. You know, the, the position of wanting his people to be safe is what has, you know, caused some of the, of the, the problem. You know, to people like Sunday Boho, you know, wanting people to be safe is what has caused some problem to people like Unande Kano. Because of oppression, they don't want it. They want things different. It's part of the problem that we are experiencing today. Because those in government, sadly, some people are benefiting from the chaos and from the trouble. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.